Uh, today is uh, Freedom Friday. Uh, we're excited. Um, today is April the 16th, and we have special guest, great longtime friend of mine, Jeff Glover. Um, Jeff is um, top agent, top team, and actually the number one top producing realtor coach in the Bring nation. Your calculations, uh, he's out of Michigan. Jeff, how are you doing today? Hey, good, Tom. Thanks for having me on. Awesome. Well, I know you have to catch a flight here. We've got about yeah. 20 minutes. So, um, Jeff, can you first tell us a little bit about yourself? Yeah, sure, sure. Uh, Jeff Glover, I'm from Detroit, Michigan. I've been listing and selling real estate uh, for 18 years now. Uh, you know, in Michigan, you can get licensed when you're nine years old. So that's how that works out. No, I got into real estate uh, right out of high school. And, um, and, and yes, as you mentioned, obviously, we've got a pretty large training and coaching organization today. Uh, but I'm still on the ground listing and selling myself personally. A bad year is maybe 80, 85 units. A good year for me right now is about 115. And uh, I've been averaging over 100 sales a year the last decade. And our team does between 900 and 1,000 units a year here in Michigan. Wow. And that's what I've always loved about you and all of the information that you can share and coach is your boots to the ground, man. You know exactly yeah. what's happening right here, right now. Some yeah. of these other coaches and coaching companies, I mean, some of them have never even sold real estate, you know? So, well, or they have, and it was just a decade ago, and they're just listening to what their clients tell them. And the problem with that is their clients only tell them the highlight reel. They don't actually, they don't know their ROI or don't know whether it's profitable. And I only share things that we're doing. Uh, and, and I only share things that we're doing that are profitable. Well, awesome. Well, hey, let's just jump right into it today. Yeah. And right now, of course, it's a hot market here in yeah. California and all over the country. And it's all about listings right now. So what's working right now and how can we get listings? What are you seeing, Jeff? Yeah. So a um, couple things. I've got a list of several things. I looked at where our listings are coming from year to date. You know, we're still averaging between 50 and 70 listings taken a month as a team. And uh, I took a look at where our listings are coming in from year to date. And I wrote down some thoughts on each one of those. So I'll share with you those sources. And I'll also give you some additional thoughts for each one of them. Sound fair? Perfect. Okay, cool. So uh, first things first, Number one source of listings year to date. Actually, this probably won't be a surprise to a lot of people, but it's from our database. Now, what might be a surprise is, all right, what are you doing to get listings from your database? A couple quick things that we've implemented over the last 12 months that have caused that to be the number one source. We've increased our, we, we had a formula and I'm going to share with you a resource of where you can find this. We call it the four by two by one by 12 formula, four by two by one by 12 formula. That's been working for us the last three or four years. It, it's caused our database business to go from under 100 transactions four years ago to over 400 transactions today. You can find that formula because it would take me an hour just to go through everything in that formula. You can find that formula. If you're in the Glover U Inner Circle Facebook group, which many of you might already be, if you click on Summit Replay, it'll take you to an event we did in Orlando last year. And... I covered that entire formula in detail. Uh, I swear by that formula. It is the number one reason why listings are the number one or, or uh, database is our number one source of listings today. Now I'm going to put an asterisk next to that though. Uh, by the way, that's the Glover U inner circle on Facebook. That's a Facebook group. If you click on summit replay, it's like one of the top videos. It'll take you to all the summit videos. It's in those. And that's the date. We call that the database formula. Uh, but the reason why I'm saying I'm putting an asterisk next to that is because we have now changed the formula to where instead of adding value quarterly, which is what the four stands for, we're adding value monthly. So, well, how do you get in front of your database to add value monthly right now? Well, one of the things that we did in the last 12 months, we implemented a very important client VIC Facebook group. So we're doing everything we can to get our past clients and our sphere of influence into a Facebook group. They're, why is that? Well, they're notified 
every time we do something. They're notified when I go live in there. We're doing giveaways monthly. We're doing contests. I mean, we're not spending a ton of money. I mean, you know, National Margarita Day, we're giving away a bottle of tequila. National Pizza Day, a $25 gift card to the, your favorite pizza joint, you know. Um, we're doing something monthly in that group to stay in front of our database. And that's keeping us top in mind, top of mind, while, when they have listing referrals. And we're seeing a good amount of listing referrals come from that specific group. So create a client Facebook group. Instead of just making great Facebook posts, half the people don't see your posts anyways. Get them in a Facebook group. They're more likely to see your posts. We're also doing, in, in terms of getting adding more value to our database and getting more listings from it, we're doing active buyer messages. We all have buyers who are having trouble getting their buyer offers accepted. So we're letting them know, hey guys, we, we have a buyer right now looking between 250 and 400,000. Uh, they wanna be in downtown Detroit or whatever, uh, you know, and, and notifying everyone in our database of that. We're doing that about once a week. Why is that? Well, because we wanna show them that we've got tons of buyers and we need listings, all right? And the last thing I wanna say on database is we have to start treating social media, specifically Facebook, all right, you're going to get more listings from Facebook than any other social media source. Why is that? Well, it's because of the demographics of Facebook. You know, all of our marketing, which we'll talk about in marketing in a second, all of our marketing is geared towards 35 to 54 year olds. Why do we gear our marketing towards 35 to 54 year olds? Because they're more likely to have two transactions. They're more likely to have a home to sell and also a buy, right? They're not 55, 60 plus to where they're selling and then downsizing, moving out of state or selling and downsizing and renting or selling and downsizing. And they already have another lake house somewhere. 35 to 54 is your greatest chance of getting two transactions out of the same effort. So everything we do is towards that group, especially if we want to get listings and we treat social media as our database. So if we're going to treat, if we're going to treat specifically Facebook as our database, Facebook allows you to have a database of up to 5,000 friends. I've been telling agents for years, get to 5,000 friends as fast as possible. They allow you to have 5,000 friends. Those are all eyeballs, all impressions that you can make. And stop adding real estate agents. Every day it gives you suggested friends. Don't add real estate agents in your market. Last time I checked, they're not going to be buying or selling with you. So click on their face, see what they do. And if they're in any other profession other than real estate, add them. The majority of them will accept your friend request because they're going to see that you have seven, 17 or 70 mutual friends and they're not going to even question it. And that's just another potential client that is going to see your stuff. All right. I also on your personal Facebook, okay, don't do anything with your business page unless you're going to do Facebook ads or something like that. Your business page has no value. I get the question all the time, man, I spend so much time on my business page though. No, the value is treating your personal page like a database. Go live one time per week from your personal page. You will get more exposure going live one time per week from your personal Facebook profile than anything else you can do on Facebook, right? New listing taken, go live. Just left a closing, go live. Market stats come out, go live. Trouble at a home inspection, share what it is, point it out. Oh my gosh, look at this furnace, guys. Here's what the inspector says. Go live one time per week. It'll get you more exposure in front of that database. Remember, Facebook is your database. Engage like crazy. Don't just comment and heart and react. Engage. I'm sorry, don't just, you know, don't just like and, and, and react, engage. My mistake, I said, don't just comment, meaning I want you to comment, all right? Because when you comment, other people are going to see that you're commenting and the algorithm is gonna put you out there in front of more of your database. And the last thing I'll say on that with, with database, take a build it initiative mentality. Take a build it initiative mentality, meaning build your database daily. Think about who you can add every single day day at the end of the day who did i talk to today or who do i meet with who did i meet with today that makes sense to add them to my database take the build it initiative to our database one person per day times 250 working days is 1000 people in your database in 4 years 1000 people that know you like you trust you all right so take the build it daily initiative that's point number 1 point number 2 there's still a lot of listings to be had. Or, and I say point number two, this is the order in which our listings are coming from. So number one's database. Number two, expires and for sale by owners. 
And I say that to people and they're like, how are you still getting expireds in your market? Every single listing is selling. That's not true. I promise you, you have expireds, you know, in your market every single day. If you don't have as many as you used to, you just have to expand the size of your territory. You're, if you were driving 45 minutes for an appointment, now you're going to drive an hour or two hours for an appointment. Who cares if I told you you had a, a seven, eight, nine, ten thousand dollar check, you know, an hour and a half away from your office? All you had to do is go pick it up and cash it. Would you go get it? All of us would answer yes to that. So why wouldn't we drive 45, 75, 90, two hours to a listing appointment? But I don't know the MLS. I don't know, you know, I don't want to work the buyer leads. Great. Go find an agent in that market that you can send all the buyer leads to. Expand the size of your territory. While you're at it, when you haven't expired and for sale, when you haven't expired, I want you to follow a simple, simple method I use, and that's call, text, and email. Call, text, and email. Call, text, and email once a day for three days. Okay. Call, text, and email once a day for three days. One call per day, one text per day, one email per day. That means you're going to have nine reach outs nine attempts in a 72 hour period that's going to get you better results than anything you can do with expires right now for sale by owners the 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 secret to for sale by owners is in the follow up on mondays follow up five mondays in a row hands down it's the best day to follow up for sale by owners call them every monday for five weeks downside with for sale by owners it requires a lot more follow up the good news is they're not as mean and nasty the expires are mean and nasty but you get in you get out and you get on with your life Sell by owners require more, more massaging and more follow-up time. Utilize video text messaging. When you send a message to them, actually take a video of yourself. Hi, this is Realtor Jeff Glover. Use their name, use their street, street name in it as personal as possible. And finally, under expires and for sell by owners, if you don't get an appointment today, what did you accomplish? If, if, you, if you're not going on an appointment every single day, five days a week, um, you, you weren't in the business for that day. That's just been my mentality since I got into the business. My mentality is I suit up and get ready to go on an appointment every single day. If I don't set an appointment in the morning, I'm going to go find someone to get in front of. So I grab three expireds or three for sale by owners and I go to their door. It's like my penalty. If I'm not able to go on an appointment, it's the penalty that I have for myself. Three expires, three for sale by owners. Why three? Because my, my work in, in probably 15, 16 years of door knocking now, uh, one out of three is always home. 33% always open their door for you. So I want three a day. Third source of listings where they're coming from, marketing. Third source of listings, marketing. Okay, follow a simple method with marketing. Write this down. Hook, then intro, then support. I'll repeat it. Hook, then intro then support, then testimony, then call to action. Hook, intro, support, testimony, call to action. By now you should know what a hook is. It's also known as a teaser. You know, something like, I bet you thought right now is not the best time to buy a home in today's market. Think again. Intro, hi, I'm Realtor Jeff Glover. In fact, in the last blah, 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 support your hook. Give data to back up your hook. Something to back up the hook, to support the hook. Testimony. But don't just take it from me. Have a client giving a testimony. And then finally, you finish with a call to action. If you want the same results, call me today, 855-JEFF-SELLS or online at housesoldname.com. When it comes to marketing today as real estate agents, think copywriter meets videographer. We got to get really good at writing copy and we got to get really good at doing videos. Now, I'm not saying that you have to have professional video equipment and crews follow, following you around town. I'm just saying you got to, when you get a video, watch this, Facebook Live, okay? For gosh sake, stop waiting until people get on and say, oh, hey, where's everyone joining us today? All right, we're going to wait a few minutes and get, oh, Bob, I see you're on, Bob. Yeah, we're just going to get started in a second. Let's get a few more people on here. Stop doing that. Why? Because at the end of the Facebook Live, it asks you if you want to save the video. You save the video. You go into your laptop because you can't do this from a phone. You go into your laptop. You open up the video. You click on the three dots on the right-hand side. It's going to give you the option to download. You download the video. You download the video. Then you go to Constant Contact or, or, or one of those other places where you send out emails. You upload the video into an email blast. You send that out to your database. All right. You can take your Facebook lot when you're creating a Facebook live video, 
think of it as just any other video that you're making. All right. Don't necessarily use terms such as, Hey, we're here on Facebook live, or let's wait till everyone gets on. Just go right into the video. Okay. Hook intro support testimony call to action. We got to do a better job of telling a story versus stating facts. We have to do a better job of telling a story versus stating facts. People don't care that you sold a house for 118% of asking price in 36 minutes anymore. They want to know how long they live there, why they are moving, what they did to the home, um, what they love about the home. Tell a story, less facts, more of a story. And always remember under marketing, marketing always solves a problem. The best marketing solves a problem. There's, there's, there is all sorts of agents right now promoting the success they're having with listings. That's not solving every, anything. Everyone knows that everything is selling. Be the agent that's promoting the success that you're having with buyers. Be the agent that promotes the success you're having winning in multiple offer situations. Marketing always solves a problem if it wants to be the most effective. Number four source of listings. Year to date. This is where our listings are coming from year to date. So number three was marketing. Uh, by the way, we also do radio and billboard in our market. If you're at that level yet, then I highly recommend radio and billboard. And yes, hook, intro, support, testimony, call to action works very well on a radio ad. Circle prospecting is number four. Very simple. We use what's called the hot buyer, no inventory script. Hot buyer, no inventory. By the way, if you want a copy of our scripts, real simple. Just text the word scripts, plural, S-C-R-I-P-T-S, scripts, to 55444. Scripts, plural, just like you were texting a, a new friend. 55444 is the number. It's going to ask you your email address, and it's going to PDF you a copy of all of our scripts. I update our scripts every 12 months. Why is that? Because I'm on the ground with you every single day, and the market in the industry is changing. Stop using scripts from a decade ago. Stop using scripts from people that aren't still selling real estate. Circle prospecting specifically just sold doors is the most effective method that you can use with circle prospecting right now. Just sold doors. That means going and knocking on doors around a listing that you just sold. 10 doors to the left, 10 doors to the right, 20 across the street or 20, 20, 20, whatever. It's even better if you can bring a copy of the purchase agreement all right. And, and, you know, white out whatever the client's information is. Hey, we just had a buyer that made an offer on a home in the neighborhood, your neighbor's house. You know, this one. Yeah. We're looking for another listing to sell them. Who do you know who's going to be taking advantage of this great market? Hot buyer, no inventory script. You can get that by texting the word scripts to five, five, four, four, four. Number five, I wrote down super Saturday sale. All right. This is something new that we're doing a super Saturday sale. Um, basically it's an intense Saturday. If you're in the Glover U inner circle, uh, I just posted it two days ago, go in there and get access to that. It's basically an hour of expires, an hour for sale by owners, circle prospecting at the doors around an open house, and then doing a two hour open house, going back to the people that were interested in potentially selling in the neighborhood, showing them a copy of the purchase agreement. That's a super Saturday. Again, if you're in the Glover U inner circle, I just posted it two days ago. You won't have to scroll too far. All right. And, and if it's free to join there, if they don't, it, it might take, you know, a few hours for them to accept your invite. Agent to agent referrals is our number six source of listings today. Agent to agent referral. So number five was the super Saturday sale. Number six is agent to agent referrals. Be active in Facebook groups, add value to agents. When you successfully accomplish a sale from an agent that referred you share their testimonial from the client, get a fan club going. Number seven, take advantage of online referral sites. So all you have to do is Google this, watch. Sell my home in blank city, meaning the city that you are selling real estate in. Sell my home in blank city. The first two or three that come up are going to be referral companies where they grab leads from agents and then sell us back to them for a referral fee. I know it sucks that we have to pay a referral fee, but if I had a referral from Detroit move into your market, you'd pay it anyway, so who cares? Google, sell my home in whatever town you work and you'll see what companies are taking those leads. You click on the site, some are at the top or some are at the bottom. It's gonna ask you if you're a real estate agent, if you'd be interested in joining their program. There's ne usually never a monthly fee. Don't fall for the monthly fee ones. It's usually the ones where it's just a referral fee when it closes. Number eight, internet leads because of online reviews. Internet leads because of online reviews. 
How much energy and effort are you putting into online reviews? Since COVID reviews have become more important, we send our clients to dinner when they review us on Google, Facebook, and Zillow. Those are the top three. Number one, two, and three that consumers are going to Google, Facebook, and Zillow. We send them a $50 or $75 gift card to a restaurant of their choice. We have over a thousand reviews. Why? We get come list me's from those. We get people that say they want to list their home just because of, their, of our reviews. And don't get mad that Zillow is one of them. I know how real estate agents feel about Zillow. As long as it's the number one place that consumers are going, you have to be there. You have to have a presence there. And finally, number nine, source of listings here today, current client referrals. Take advantage of the honeymoon phase. What's the honeymoon phase? Seven days after you take a listing, seven days after it goes pending, and seven days after closing. Seven days after you get a listing contract signed, you haven't had a chance to screw it up yet, so their confidence in you is still there. Seven days after it closes or after it sells, and then seven days after it closes. Current client referrals, take advantage of the honeymoon phase. Hey, Mr. and Mrs. Seller, hey, congratulations on the accepted offer. And by the way, we're always looking to match buyers with our sellers and sellers with our buyers. So I was wondering, who else do you know that's looking to get in on this great market? Jeff, you've done such a wonderful job. I already told some people at work about you, but my neighbor has a for sale by owner sign up right now. You want his number? Whatever. Current client referrals is our number nine source of listings today. All right. I know I went through those rather quickly. Questions? I've got about two minutes. Tom, I'll let you take it over. Okay. Hey, that was awesome. That was like drinking out of a fire hose. I, I appreciate <laughs> it. So rapid fire, we've got- By the way, by the way, if you go to gloveru.com forward slash webinar, I did an extended version of it. I did about a, the, I, what I did in 20 minutes, I did a 60 minute version of it. If you, if you want to go back and say, I didn't really quite catch what he meant by that. Uh, chances are you, you, you can watch this again in, in much detail. It's gloveru.com forward slash webinar. It's free. Well, that's my first question is, so uh, what's the best way to reach out? What's the best way to connect with you? Is that Glover the inner circle? Yeah. Glover, you inner circle on Facebook. Yep. Awesome. Okay. Yeah, Cause we produce, I don't know if you guys subscribe to this. We produce a quarterly magazine. Do you get this Tom? Uh, no, I've got to get on the list. Yeah. Oh, it's like 50 pages. We interview top producers. It's everything that we're doing to listen, sell real estate. Once a quarter, we send this out. Awesome. Uh, when you go into the inner circle, it's going to ask you if you want to subscribe to this. So as long as you've given us your address, we'll drop it in the mail to you. It's for free. Awesome. Okay. Let's get a question up here. Don't be shy. And like I said, if you want me to dig into any of these additional, if you go back and if you go to gloveru.com forward slash webinar, it'll, it should be one of the first ones you'll see up there. It'll say, watch the replay and um, you can watch the replay of it from Wednesday. Okay. looks like we're I, over. Go ahead. Yeah. I just real quick. Um, and, and with the database, you said the four by two by one by 12. And I know you said that it's, it's really expensive, but in the nutshell, can you just let me know what, what that is? Yeah. Four pieces of mail, one client event. I'm sorry, four pieces of mail, two phone calls, one client event, and 12 infotaining emails. Four by two by one by 12. Four pieces of mail, two phone calls, one client event, and 12 infotaining emails. And I said the asterisk is we're now doing something of value quarterly in that Facebook group. Everything we're doing right now, every piece of mail, everything we put out is driving them to the Facebook group, giving them incentive to go into the Facebook group. Great question. Hey, Tom, uh, I've got a hard stop right now. Okay. I got to get to the airport. Okay. Well, thank you so much, Jeff. Great for appreciate everything. Uh, if you ever need anything, let me know. Thanks again, Jeff. We'll talk you soon. Bet. All right. I'll you see bet. you guys all in the inner circle. We got a lot more stuff to share. Tom, always great seeing you. Love to be back. Good luck Thanks, out there, Jeff. guys. See you later. Okay, guys. Thanks.